and welcome back to my playthrough of Brook City. Our fourth lead just entered the city and it's not too far away from Wilson Fox. And I plan is still to have Selena Gonzalez go first. Then this guy will activate and will move towards Wilson here. So hopefully everything will turn out the way I plan to. To be honest, I think there weren't any goofs during last episode either. So we can directly get right into the gameplay. And again, Selena will go first. So let's ready all of her cards, including her awesome new Coyote. That's so nice. He has, it has two stress on it, so we can use it to move two extra streets. How cool is that? Before I draw my criminal card, I think I'm still allowed to exhaust this one here. So I will gain a hunch and then I can move any number of hunches onto this card. How awesome is that? So yeah, let's simply take two for now. Should we go with three? Ah, let's keep two. That's fine. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm allowed to take more than one hunch, but it really says during an encounter I can discard one hunch from this card. Though I would see there, but of course otherwise I could imagine that it re would read something like you can take any number of hunches from this card and for each hunch you gain plus one extra die. And I think this is already powerful enough. Then let's draw her criminal card. And again, it's an event, the casting call. That's usually not good news. Each cup must either place one influence on a riot card or suffer one stress. Ugh. And then if there are more than one P tapes on leaked singles, place one tape in a random location. I think again, we have to do that. Yeah, we have three. No, we have two. We have two. So we don't have to spawn any more of those tapes onto the board, which is good. But I still have to think about this effect here, one influence or one stress. They're both not doing well, actually. Well, the problem is if we put influence on those cards, on those rights, we can do that. Then they are trendy and then I suffer stress anyway. On the other hand, P28 is the target for Selena this round or could be a potential target. So yeah, I think let's put one stress here not stress one influence here and for selena yeah i think she has to go to seven stress ah this will be a tough call but again her riot is at f2 which is really far from our cops right now so i think yeah i think that's the better deal okay this was the event let's go into the act phase and again the plan was to go after both of those it's too far that's the problem i can reach her but not both, but that's okay. So let's move one, two, three. That's our standard movement. We will exhaust our coyote. For each stress, we can move an extra street plus one anyway. So that's three more. One, two, and three. We will leave the car like so, I guess, right? And that was our movement. Unfortunately, we cannot rest now. This will be really, really such a close call. Oh man, for her card action, she will play the encounter. Follow through, encounter with two dice, and then you may discard one hunch to place one progress on the target. So we really have to get rid of it. That's that's really the game plan here. Um. P28, the video shoot has a resistance of one in all of those three categories. So let's roll those two dice. And that's not really great, actually. Um, basically, that's zero successes if I don't do anything about that. Question now is, should I go with one and one? So I will pay one. So these are two successes and I will gain one. So overall, I'm not paying anything but she will take one progress like so. She still needs three more because of the follow through. It says you may discard one hunch to place one progress on the target. So we will discard a hunch and then we will place another progress on this card. For our action, she will of course use the always prepared here, um, encounter two. We have the practiced patience. So we get an extra die, so that's three die. And then we may resolve the prepared effect on a tactic card you control. And I think that's three dice already. Let's still spend one more hunch. So that's four dice. And keep in mind, we still need two successes. So let's hope for the best. 
that's good. So this is basically blocked. Uh, also the same resistance. So those are two successes. That's all we need. And additionally, we gain one, two, three hunches and she's out of here, out of the rally woods. That's really helpful. So those are gone. Those influence are gone. So I think this was a good idea, but she spent two actions on this stone. And yeah, when we bust it, she gains yet another hunch. This is really insane, but she's out. That was the main thing. Think during her, I don't know, whatever steps there were, she will still hit the car again. And then we may want to consider going after that asset during the later round or so. I think we can still do this. Then you may resolve the prepared effect on a tactic card you control. We have hunches like crazy. So I think let's draw an extra card here. And that's a bit disappointing. The practiced patience draw one card when we prepare. So when we played, we can draw another card. So overall, I'm not complaining about this. And that was all of our actions. Let's activate our criminal area. Of course, we start with Mason Douglas. The attached vehicle moves three streets towards its destination, which is P8. So that's one, two, and three. I think still we get to choose where this guy is moving within the street. I think that much is basically on us to decide. And he's a criminal, of course, he's driving. Maybe he's a British criminal, who knows? So that was basically this movement here. Nothing else would happen. Then you must either suffer one stress or place one influence on this card. Mm. I think it doesn't really make a difference. So let's put one. Oh, that's a wrong one. Let's put one stress here because yeah, we can put it there. It's F2. We cannot get there. Mm. Let's gain the stress. So we are now at eight. You must either suffer one stress or place one influence on a crime, a crime. That's important. And I think uh, we cannot have it here. We have to place it here. And I think then we are. Oh, yeah, I think we are toast anyway. <laughs> wow, this is this is bad. This will be really bad. Not so much for Wilson, but certainly for Selena. So let's see. That's the card she draws. Sniper training. Awesome. Encounter. If you are in a location, you may encounter any target on the board that is not in the same location. Oh, where have you been before? This would have been the perfect card for her. But to be honest, I could really lose this game this round or maybe next round. Let's see. For now, that's the end of her turn. Maybe you really have to reconsider things now. But the problem is I still have to place one influence on a crime during the leaked singles, basically during the criminal turn. Cannot place it here. Can in theory place it here. But anyway, it doesn't change a thing because overall I still get beaten. Ah, oh, wow, and this is a five. Oh man, so even so, let's say really I, I go after some of those and I could take it out, then well, what does it help me? If this would have been another three, I would be good, but I will not be able to take out both of those apparently. But yeah, we still have to draw a criminal card for, uh, for Wilson. So let's put everything face up. Maybe we find something <coughs> useful. No, of course not. It's another terrible one. And I think this could be it actually. Each cop must either suffer one stress or place one influence on a menace card. Then each cop with a trendy crime in their crime area must discard one card from their hand or player. That's not too bad, the second effect. I think we know this one. Must either suffer one stress or place one influence on a menace card. Yeah, anyway, this will be bad. So let's... I think we can only do that once actually. But let's buy some time for Selena. So she will place one influence on a menace. This is now considered trendy. So during the leaked singles, she will suffer a stress anyway. I believe she's at eight. Yeah, I think so. Wilson cannot do this anymore because there aren't any more menace cards where he could put um, influence on. So he has to take a stress. And I think he's now, what is it? Four, five, six, seven out of 12. Okay, he's doing much better. But of course, in theory, we can still place one extra stress on that coyote. It discarded, so basically she has really yeah, hit a wall with that in her anger or in her stress, but she doesn't have to suffer the stress. And I think this could be still a viable option. She could still, I don't know, command another car vehicle next round or so. But okay, that's at least something could buy us some time. I think it doesn't really matter because we get stress anyway. 
So let's follow the plan. He will not move, um, which means, or not doing his move step, he will not move. So he will basically recover one stress. That's already a good thing. Next, I think he wants to play a card. I think I already know which card. Yes, no hesitations, which says encounter with his gun. For each thing you roll during this encounter, you may spend one hunt to treat it as um, basically an exploding die. This is great. Um, the good thing is we really need this symbol because this is where Mason only has one resistance to it. All the others are really crap. So I think we need six successes now in order to take him out. I'm really not sure if we will be able to make it, but I will take my chances anyway. So let's grab one hunch here. This gives us an extra die. So we are now at three, but of course we need successes like crazy. Um, yeah, let's see. That's not terrible, actually. I was really hoping for an exploding die, but I could really treat this as an exploding die. So if I would now spend two hunches, I think this is really for all the symbols. For each roll during this encounter, you may spend one hunch to treat it as an exploding die. Yeah, let's go for it. And I, hopefully this also counts for this symbol. Hopefully this is not just this symbol here, but I think really the shields do count. So I will spend two hunches. So those are now pretty much exploding dice. So that's still good for, oops, where well, those are. Three successes, amazing. Let's continue rolling. We get two more dice for that. And that's actually really amazing. Um, there we could spend yet another hunch and I think we will do that. This is another one. So this is yet another die. And now I'm running out of dice. So we're now at five successes already, but I think I should still have some dice. I think I have a second set of dice. So let's see. Yes, there they are. Never been used before. I never rolled more than six dice. Really hoping that I'm doing this correctly. So those are pretty much the two extra dice I'm getting to roll. And basically I need two more hits on those. And there they are. Are you believing it? Perfect. Seven successes, minus one, it's six. I still get a hunchback. How nice is that? But what's more important, we have six successes. This was amazing, really amazing. So we have our fourth clue now. Unfortunately, we are now out of clues, but he's out of here. So let's remove this car here too. We have played this card. This was really an amazing card. So we rolled seven dice in total. And yeah, this was actually pretty good. We still have an action actually. So we can still take another action, which is absolutely cool. So in theory, we could really try to get after, yeah, because I still get a free movement for my sports fan. The problem is I'm then no longer in my car actually, or can I, I think I just did my card step. Um, and basically I, I get to choose in which order I'm doing things. So I could enter and get into the car. Basically I moved, I didn't move out. I played a card, I didn't move out. And then I could still take an action and then, ah, okay, this may be ah, tough because I still want to ditch the car, but I have to drive this vehicle, of course, in order to ditch this car. Huh, interesting. I can still exhaust it anyway. I think this could be enough or maybe not. Ah, this is exactly wrong. I need one, two movement, but then I'm not here. One, two movement, I'm not here. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, I think this could be okay because again, I'm still in my cards, uh, my card step. I played this card and defeated this guy. So now I'm exhausting my sports fan car. This lets me move one space. I'm still in my card step. Yes, absolutely. I can leave the car doing my card step. So now I'm adjacent to Mickey. Now I can play my action, which says encounter two with a police head. Then you may place one progress on a crime in your crime area. Let's do that. He has a resistance of only one, which is good. I get to roll three dice because of my know your enemy. That's not too shabby. And wow, I keep rolling those exploding dice. Keep them coming. Okay, those are three successes and a hunch. Um, I could transform it into a success, but I think I'm not gonna to. So I will take the hunch 
and I will inflict two progress, which means he goes back to his card. Oh, should I? I just noticed he already has five, so we busted him. So if he otherwise, each cop may either discard one tape from the board or discard one stress. So if I don't take, oh yeah, I should really do that. So those are the successes. Um, He takes two hits from this. I took one hunch. No, I'm not take the hunch. I spend the hunch in order to transform this into another success. He goes to his card anyway. Um, and then if Mickey's on this card, no, he was not on this card. Otherwise, each cop may either discard one tape from the board or discard one stress. So we busted him. Perfect. He takes three extra hits. Well, that's amazing. For sure, I will have Selena remove one stress. And I think Wilson is okay. He can remove a tape. So I think let's get rid of this. This was the plan for Selena, but she has no other reason to go there. So let's put this back to the leaked singles. So we are back at three. That's not bad. We are still in our action step. Keep that in mind. So we will enter the car, then we will ditch the car for good. So it goes right back and let's have us place next to the lead, which means we can pick up that lead, which is really so important. This says, you may perform an action. The energy bar, muscle toned bodies and spandex fill the halls of the city's most popular gym, which was at the center of controversy last year when we busted a trainer for sneaking a peek. It's gone back to being all about protein shakes and squats since then though. Awesome. And I think we may want to ditch this card later on during the leaked single steps. So for now, I will take it for sure. Then let's spawn a new league. Maybe it's something closer to Selena. And that's something at the Binford County Courthouse. I-18, Warren Forest. Place 1P progress on a suspect. Hmm, that's not too bad, actually. Right now he's fully healed, quote unquote. But yeah, that's fine. We will take it. Pretty cool turn, took me some time to figure it out, but this is really the beauty of this game. In the end, it's really a puzzle um, and it really feels challenging. I think this is a combination I really enjoy, to be honest, especially with all the stress going on, cool stuff. Then we have to activate our stuff. You must either discard one hunch or place one influence on this card. As I cannot do this, I have to discard the hunch. And I think if I don't have a hunch, then I'm good here too. So there is right now not really reason to go after this, apart from the fact that it's considered to be trendy. No, but I think overall that's still okay. Let's draw our card. What did we get? Know your enemy. Ah, we have this one. The good thing is the prepared effect says place one crest on each crime within five spaces. So this could, mm, could really help us. Over to the publicity tour, though we have the criminal turn. Mickey will play a gig, so he will go into a random location, which is J5, Brook City Post Office. Wow, he's doing a gig there. Let's place him accordingly. That's actually pretty tempting, to be honest, because he's right next to Wilson and also right next to J7. That's the setting trends, the menace one with five progress we need. Hmm, that's not bad. We still have to spawn a tape in a random location unless the cops discard a lead. Yeah, let's discard the lead for sure. That was the plan after all, getting rid of Mickey and then also not spawning that asset. Then we move over to the leaked singles. So we have to place an influence. Nothing we can do about this. Both of them now have basically trendy crime in their crime area and then we can either place one tape in a random location or suffer one stress. Wilson will go for the stress, he's fine and I think she will spawn an asset. Right now we are still doing okay. This asset goes to F1 which is also right next to Wilson but I was really hoping for it to be, I don't know, closer to Selena for example because she <laughs> has a whole lot of those hunches in order to trade those in. But overall, that's okay. These were the leaked singles. Let's go to the jump start. So basically the case turn. So we have to draw, look for the last clue actually. So what do we have? And I have to shuffle those anyway. And here we have her, Megan Halpert. She also needs eight successes. This is really bad, but of course her resistance is then accordingly lower. 
She will start at A21, basically on the right side, and then we'll move all the way to the left. This is the blue disc icon here. Let's see what car she gets. I'm really curious to see that. And oh, wow, it's another Decker. I really shuffled the hell out of those cards. So yeah, I think they're really after those cards. I'm not really sure. Maybe they're supplying the A-team or so. I don't know. Let's place it to A21, which is basically over here if i'm not mistaken and we still have to make a choice on who should get this and to be honest i don't have a clue so let's give it to wilson for now we still have to draw a normal case card and here we have forged registrations a cop must put this in their crime area okay we make the choice after we know what it's doing during their turn a cop in brook city bmv in what I can only guess that this is a location actually, but I'm not able to spot it. Ah, no, there it is, right up there. Okay, anyway, we have to go there. We can discard this card to either gain one hunch or search the case deck for a clue to put it into play, then shuffle the case deck. Okay, we don't have any more clues, but we could get a rule. But think we have to still activate. If you're not near a clue, either discard one hunch or suffer one stress. Yeah, I think we have to give it to Selena because again now we have something useful to do for her hunches actually the forge registration is awesome so yeah let's give it to her and again maybe we can still I don't know do stuff and uh, maybe get get rid of it at some point in time okay those were all of our turns not quite sure this was a really long episode but I still feel like moving on actually so I think let's start with Wilson again. We will ready all of his cards. We will draw a criminal card. And this is another menace here, the setting trends one. That's the quick do salon at A7, which is actually up here. And I'm pretty sure if you know this case a little bit more, then you also know where those guys are appearing. It really seems Hell of a lot of those are here. Not so much down there in the southern eastern region of Brook City. I think this is really also important to understand. What did I do actually? This I think was the wrong figure. I think I took her from somewhere else. Yep, she was here on D13. But that's a good thing. You can basically always check your cards and then you know where those guys should be located. Okay, okay. That was pretty much it for the dispatch phase right I need a new car so I think I want to exhaust this card this lets me move one step That's all I need to move into the street space and commandeer a vehicle let's see what we get oh we also get a coyote that's so amazing yeah cool stuff so let's place it like this we get to choose it's really totally on us how we want to do this so I think this was pretty amazing we still have two more movement points left no we have no this was a standard move we have not really used our movement step I think this is now tempting but first of all, let's play the Know Your Enemy. We already have it in our area active, so we can use the, or we have to use the prepared effect. Place one progress on each crime within five spaces. One, that's one, and one, two, three, four, and five. So we can place progress on both of those gals here. That's really nice. So that's one here, and actually one here. I nearly missed that. Okay, these were both of hers, actually. Huh, interesting stuff. But yeah, I will take it anyway. Now he can still move and act. And uh, should we, we could try going after her, actually. I think maybe this is what we should be doing or should try to do. Um, what's his, uh, yeah, I think she, this is good. Her resistance against anything is only one. So he can use his action now in order to go after her. Yeah, let's do that. That's pretty cool. So he gets three dice with his standard action. And she still needs three successes. So there is a chance. The problem is I cannot use any hunches from Selena. No, this card is empty. But yeah, let's go for it anyway. That's not bad of a start, actually. That's another exploding die. Three successes already and some hunches. And I think that's good. That's perfect. One, two, three, four, minus one. That's three, which is enough to bust her. Amazing. That's really, really cool. 
So she's gone. We gain a hunch. And for Wilson, this is really, really important, actually. Cool stuff. The hunch we just gained, we will spend in order to remove this asset. Wow, this is really working out pretty well. And we still have our movement step, actually. And huh, should we rest or should we move? No, I think we really have to move. And I think our prime goal is still the clue. Yeah, let's go for it. One, two and three. We can exhaust the car in order to move one street further. Why not? Let's do that. And I think that's actually it, yeah. Then we have to activate some stuff here. Megan Holpert will move three streets, which is okay. One, two and three. I think this should be the shortest route for her. You must either discard one hunch or place one influence on this card. We can do either. So I think we are good. Didn't really see anything. We cannot fulfill it. And you must either suffer one stress or place one influence on a crime. Um, yeah, let's take the stress. I think that's still okay for him. Um, yeah, I think that's good. And then let's draw a card for him. What does he get? And that's a sports fan. We know this one already. If we discard it, we can use the prepared effect to move three. Okay, this can really help us. Then it's Selena. Let's ready all of her cards. Um, again, before we draw the card, we will do this, which means we can move. We gain one hunch and I think let's place another two hunches onto this card. Yeah, why not? Let's let's go with those two. That's still fine. Still don't have a clue if I can do that more than once. Then we can or we have to draw another criminal card. What does she get? Another casting call. Wow, those events are driving us insane. Each cuff must either place one influence on a riot card. Do we have riots? No, I think we don't have riots. Are you kidding me? So we have have to suffer one stress and if there are more than one piece on leaked singles yes they are we have to place one tape in a random location okay that's already bad i think for wilson that's not a problem we can place uh stress here and i think i missed that i think i placed one here of course i would have placed it on the coyote for now so we want to move it like crazy what are we going to do with selena's though She's really in a weak spot, but she could use her car to move really far, actually. But I think that's now really tough. How many stress, how much stress does she have? So she's at seven. No, I think for now, let's give her one more stress. I think that's okay. And then we still have to spawn one asset. And this goes to D14 city map which is pretty much over here. No, the fountain walk. Okay, not too bad actually. This was her card. I guess she will move. She he really needs to move out of this area. So this will be one, two, three. She will exhaust her car. She has two stress on her, which means one, two, three more spaces. I think she will leave the car right into Capital Hotel. And then she will play her yeah, card, of course. Oh, I nearly forgot that. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Encounter two. If you are in a location, you may encounter any target, not just the crime, any target on the board that is not in the same location. So yes, she will totally go after this clue. Wow, that's insane. She will also spend one hunch, apparently in order to gain a third, so basically taking a hunch from her um, shared knowledge card. And again, this is her target for sure. Oh, I nearly forgot. Perfect. Um, it has a resistance of one in all of those categories, if I'm not mistaken, and there's nothing else I can do, unfortunately. Nope, but that's still fine. Let's go for it. That's not too bad. So we get an exploding die out of that. So let's keep re-rolling that. That's not bad. That's really not bad. One, two, three, four, five. If we spend two hunches, which we totally will do. So those are one, two, three, four, five successes. Minus one. That's four progress on Megan Halpert. Wow, that's cool. So she must have shot her tire or was something like that. Really cool stuff. So we need four more to go. Oh man, and now again, she's in the wrong location. So we have to discard this card. This was really amazing. 
we move into our movement step or we go in not movement action step this was the card we move and then we go the action let's enter the car so we really want to use it in order maybe we can ditch it then later on or not really ditch but we can take a stress then this car is no more so we can now move or act i think we will not be able to reach the lead up there right one two three uh, we are definitely a little bit short kind of a problem or unfortunate but wow ah or should we simply no i think let's move we really have to move up there one two and three she will stay where she is this was her normal action and that's already the end of her round yeah so let's activate this um setting trends you must either suffer one stress or place one influence on a crime um i think we will place one influence on a crime and we will place it on the crime of wilson that's fine then uh if you're not near a clue she's not either discard one hunch or suffer one stress let's simply discard this hunch i think overall that's not too bad we still get to draw another card what is it the shared knowledge one okay yeah we can basically go for the prepared effect to gain one hunch never a bad thing but also not really great. Those were already all of our actions. Let's move into the criminal turn. Mickey's on the board, so he will spawn a place in a random location, which goes to Q8. Yeah, of course, now that we are moving up, we get those assets down here in the south side. Stolen merchandise. Then we come to the leaked single. Place one influence on a crime. We cannot do that. All of our crimes are fully loaded with influence. That's kind of nice actually, but then each cop that has at least one trendy crime in their crime area must either place one tape in a random location or suffer one stress. I think it's time that she's wrecking her car. So this is basically ditched. So let's replace this. And I think Wilson wants to hold on, so he will take a stress. So I'm taking four off and place a fiver here. So he's at eight out of 12. I think those were all of our criminal actions. Let's do the case turn, the fourth registrations again. A cost must put during the turn. Okay, we basically know the drill. If you're not near a clue, either discard one hunch or suffer one stress. Let's give it to Selena once more. And then I think let's do another round. I think this could be the last round. I'm really hoping I don't messing things up here. So we will start with Wilson again. So let's draw his card. That's another setting trends. J24, trend rating of only one. J24 is over here. Not really worth mentioning. Let's play a card first. And I think he will play the keep them guessing. Each cop may either discard, exhaust one crime in their crime area, or may exhaust each one crime in their crime area. That's easy. So that's one here. And they really don't um, unexhaust basically at the start of the player's turn, really at only at the criminal turn of their step. And da, 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 discard one hunch. We will assume we will not have a hunch. We can also play the card. And the suffer one stress or place one influence on the crime. That's pretty much the same thing. So we will simply exhaust this. Then each cop may either place one progress on a crime in their crime area or gain one hunch. Um, we don't care too much about progress on crimes anymore. So we will both take a hunch. Then he will move one, two, three streets. Standard movement. He can use his sports fans, which lets him move an extra space. And in theory, he could simply leave the car yeah let's totally do that um i think that's okay so he will leave the car so he's now adjacent to that clue and we didn't have to exhaust anything right now i think that's good then we will use our actions threats to pull encounter two then you may place one progress on a crime um it has a resistance of only one so we get the know your enemy bonus which is three dice in total of course we will discard the hunch from the shared knowledge card so that's four dice in total and again minus one of the resistance four dice yep that's it that's not bad <laughs> it's really not bad so one more die Bam! On another exploding die. He's toast. He's toast. And we are continuing to roll like crazy. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. This could be in a seventh, but we only needed four additional progress. Wow, this is amazing. Which means this gal here, Megan Halpert, has been busted too. This is our fifth clue we needed and we immediately win when we have five clues. Oh man. This was so close. Let me see. Vehicle, da, 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 da. If the cops control all five clue tokens, the cops win. Wow, amazing. Wow, this really felt very, very close. So definitely a very enjoyable balanced situation, to be honest. And maybe if I would do the same thing again, I would really add some more of those baddies. I think you can put in some adversaries or so. Um, or foes or whatever. I don't know what the right term there is. This makes the game a little bit tougher because in in between it felt a little bit, okay, everything is under control, but then things are really starting to ramp up in respect to stress and what's on. And I really didn't have much um, characters or cards in play that really let me heal stress. I think if we really with um, Mickey Scott, if you have a character that can deal with um, stress, Think that's definitely helpful because there are not so many things that you need hunches with for example so maybe you need a character with little less hunches but maybe is able to deal with stress or whatever it is but really overall great experience really enjoyed it hope you enjoyed it too as usual like and subscribe check out my page on patreon really if you like my channel please support it and yeah hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then Bye-bye.